Let's look at sleep. 60% of people regularly wake up feeling tired in all the seminars and workshops that I run. Okay, sleep is a crucial component to health. And being tired and sleep deprived affects more than just your mood and energy. Okay? It can affect your weight, your mental health, your focus, your memory, your insulin resistance, your productivity, and more. It can also affect your lifespan. In fact, those people that regularly sleep less than six hours per night, it's been shown to increase their risk of all-cause mortality by more than 13%. And even if you're getting between six and seven hours, that still increases all-cause mortality by 7%. Even by having just 10 days of seven hours sleep has been shown in one study to show that your brain is as dysfunctional as going 24 hours without sleep. So if you want something that is gonna help you become more productive, enhance your memory, make you more creative, as well as believe it or not, more attractive, keeps you slim, lowers your food craving, wards off the cold and the flu, as well as lowering your risk of heart disease, stroke and diabetes, and not only that, helping you to feel happier, less depressed and less anxious, it's sleep. Okay? It used to take me 45 minutes or more to fall asleep, and I used to think that that was normal. Right? I used to wake up several times in the night and then I'd still wake up feeling tired. But then I decided to make sleep a study, and I dove deep into the topic. And now from 45 minutes, it's more like 45 seconds to get me to fall asleep. So sleep is a huge topic, right? But if I was to give you one piece of advice to help you improve your sleep, it would be to give yourself a wind down window of at least 30 minutes, but more ideally 90 minutes or more before you go to bed away from stimuli. Things like TVs, phones, laptops, even bright lights. If you can use really low level lights, um, and then do something different, right? Maybe instead of watching TV or being on your laptop, you read a book or you prepare your bag for the next day or you do the washing up, tidying up. Maybe you have a nice relaxing bath or God forbid, talk, yeah? Just talk to people that live with you. Just don't go to bed all wired and tired. 